One CNC profiler is an excellent solution for water jet, laser, plasma, and router applications. It works with both wireframe and solid geometry. Now what you want to do first is add a part to your nest manager. Simply click on the plus sign and then digitize the shape. At this point you want to fill out your parameters like quantity, things like nest angle, your lead in and lead out parameters. You also have complete control over your corner style. As you grab a different corner style, the graphics update over on the right. This is fantastic feedback. You have that same type of great feedback when setting up your tabs. Let's put this back to three tabs. That looks good, so we'll click OK. Let's add another part. We'll click on the plus sign. We'll digitize the shape. Again, we'll come in and fill out our parameters. But for this one, let's just change the quantity. That looks great, so we'll click OK to that. Let's add one more. Click the plus sign, digitize the shape, and then we'll fill out our parameters. Let's just change the quantity to this one to 200. That looks good, so we'll click OK. Now once the parts have been added to the nesting manager, you can simply make edits by just double clicking and typing in whatever changes you want, and then click OK. Now let's demonstrate auto nesting. I just clicked on the auto nest tool, and now we're setting up the sheet parameters. Once those are good, click OK, and then one CNC will effectively and efficiently nest those parts. I'm just going to zoom out and pan over. To machine this, just click on Cut Nested Parts. You can optionally set up your start code, profile codes, router codes, and encodes. Those can be saved for later use as well if you want. Complete control over your different offsets. You have control over drilling, pre-drill, part drilling. There's also a fantastic engraving option as well. To create CNC code, right click, select Post Group, grab the machine tool you want to use, and hit Post. Designate the name and where you want to save the CNC program, and there you go. There's the CNC program. Now, of course, the editor can be resized. I'm just dragging it over to the right and dragging it down a little bit. You can also upload and download and perform all kinds of nice edits inside there if you want. If you want to change the program for a different machine, just select a different post processor. Go back in and hit post, and here you go. There's a brand new CNC program made for a different machine within a couple of seconds. Now let's take a look at manual nesting. This works exactly the same way in that the first thing you want to do is you want to add a part to the nest manager. So again, we'll click the plus sign. We'll grab the shape. Notice how my quantity is set to 1 there. All this looks good, so we'll click OK. Now we're going to select on manual nest. Again, you set up your sheet size. That's what we're doing here. That looks good, so we'll click OK on that. Now notice how the part is attached to my cursor. I can left click and place this anywhere I want. If I hit the up arrow, I can set up my set angle and adjust angles. If I hit the right or left arrow, I can easily rotate per those angles I just set up. Now I'm just nesting one part here, but you can nest as many parts as you'd like. There's also a tool in here for uh, clearing all the nest if you want. I'm going to demonstrate that here. Or if you want to, you can come in and just delete as many parts as you want. Let's just grab that one there on the right. Once you're happy with your manual nest to create a CNC program, go back up and again select Cut Nested Parts. All this looks good, so we'll click Finish. To post it, again right hand mouse click, Post Group, grab the machine tool you want to use. That looks great, so we'll hit Post, Save, and there you go, there's your program. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.